right, mates, I hope you all doing well and will welcome a small piece of nice news. So, as you might already know, Android 15 is out, I mean as a final official stable release and, uh, of course, first of all, Google has released it for its own, I mean for, for the Google Pixel family and I've got here my Google Pixel 8 Pro and uh, sure, I've already got the Android 15, but I've got it for quite some time as I signed up to Android 15 beta program, so already got it for a couple of months. And uh, I will not tell the whole story of Android 15, the whole new functionality, enhancements, as I've already got the early review video of Android 15. Today I uh, will only show you some hidden features, I call, call them this way hidden, the, not that uh, they're hidden from the users, no, but uh, they're not on, on the surface and you'll need certain steps through the settings to even find them and to enable them. Yet those features, some of them are absolutely useful, some of them uh, so, so some of them even may be useless, but anyway, they're hidden not on the surface and uh, I'll show you how to find them, enable them and use them. So the first and in my opinion, the most useful, I'd even say essential feature of Android 15 is called depth protection and uh, surprisingly it lays under the Google section of the settings how how the hell would I know that it's here? So from now on, and I do it all the time, you better use the search bar, the search function of the settings. You look for theft protection and uh, voila, you've got this, this function, this section or subsection, and you need to toggle this, to toggle this on, this feature, theft protection lock, you see, even to disable it, I, I need to use my authentication thing, like a fingerprint or else. So, and uh, now your phone is quite protected from, from the theft. Whenever someone grabs your phone from your hands, I mean the phone being unlocked and runs away, the phone will lock itself, so absolutely, absolutely essential and useful feature to be on all the time. It uses the device sensors like gyroscope or accelerometer or both of them. So I believe that one of the most needed feature on any device. Thank you, Google, but uh, you'd better tell us upfront about this feature. Okay, and the next massively interesting and quite useful feature is called a private space it's about your privacy or privacy whichever you fancy so you again better use the search bar it it, it is in my search history so private space we get into it and we'll need keep private apps locked and hidden will need to set it up and the best way to do it is to create a new or add a new Google account and once you've created it let's get through it the whole way because a create a Google account a separate account not to mix your general application space and this private space, do it later, use screen lock, okay, I will use the screen lock, let's see what, where does it get us, done, and now at the very bottom of an app drawer we got this private space, and what it does, it creates a separate space of all the same applications, but locked and hidden from any any other who can take your phone in their hands and uh, yeah one being locked no one can in this private space you'll have your 
kind of cloned or private or all the applications but in a copy in a private copy and uh, no one except you can get into them so a pretty nice feature to have if you have uh, your I know skeletons to hide but I I don't see any any further use any additional value to it as I have all, all the features like lock screen or whatever but overall if you want to separate your spaces from anyone else who you given your phone to nice to have so let's move on yet another hidden feature is called astrophotography and yes you guessed it right it's to take those beautiful night sky night stars photos so you go to the camera switch to night side and uh, you need to tap this this button of of the it's exposure i guess and uh, you go on the exposure scale to the far right and now you got this astro astro fissure and uh, now yes you're ready to take the most beautiful breathtaking photos of the night star stars and the night sky do i use it no never why because probably i sleep at night so and the last one of them of the hidden features is called app pair so it's to get two apps working together on the split screen and for that matter to do this you go to the recent apps recent app drawer whatever it's called correctly and you go for split screen with with any of the applications you choose the other app to pair with, with the first one and yep here you go having split screen applications and uh, to enable this app pair you go again to this recent apps drawer and you tap on this pair it's auto created an app pair and you need to save the app pair and here you go it works perfectly whenever you need it but i guess it's rather for big screens like tablet or foldable phone so that's it from me guys please comment down below which of the hidden features you like maybe you dislike and even hate all of them as for me i immediately turned on the theft protection for others i could use it occasionally so that was all for me guys it was nice meeting you seeing you cheers